So I've been wanting to do an update on this video that I shot a few years back about Media Encoder and Premiere Pro not exporting your lots properly. In that video, I presented you with a fix to that problem. However, I kind of found that that fix was temporal. So you would use it until you had to update your Premiere Pro or your Media Encoder, and then you would have to do it all over again. This kind of helped a lot of people, but a few people said they had to do this every single time. So I was trying to find another solution that would be more permanent. And I ended up on Adobe's proper page and uh, yeah, we did find a more permanent solution that I'm going to share with you in this video. Without so much talking, let's jump right into it and uh, yeah, let's get this video going. What's going on beautiful people, welcome to right here, you're definitely welcome back to the channel. Once again, if you're new on here, I'd greatly appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the left hook. Now we're sitting at about 841 subscribers and the goal is to try and get those subscriber counts right up to a thousand by the end of the year. So help the brother out, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend so you can uh, get subscribing. All right, so let's get into the reason why we're here and let's jump into the computer. So what I'm going to show you today is just a bunch of different directories that you need to follow and drop your lot files into those uh, folders so you wouldn't have to transfer those files every single time that you update your media encoder or premiere pro so if you're a mac os user all you need to do is follow the directories that you see under the mac os and if you're a windows user all you have to do is follow the directories that you see under the windows user all right so once you get into your computer you want to follow this directory right here open up users get into username and then you want to get into library i'm in the library of folders right now and what i have to do is to open up the application support and then adobe after which i'm going to open up the common folder and from there i'm going to go into lots and then creative and right here you want to drop every single lot file that you want to get into your premiere pro software so just drop it in there both for premiere pro and media encoder both of them are going to take from this same folder right here so drop the files in there and once you're done you just gotta close it and you're good to go. So if you open up your Premiere Pro, edit your program, and then you try to export it using Media Encoder, it's going to pick up on this and everything is gonna work just fine. And the good thing with this particular method is that you just have to do it once and you're good to go. So you don't have to repeat this process every single time that you update software. Yeah, that's it for that fix and quite easy, quite fast. I hope this was much shorter than the first video that I put out. Thank you for watching. We've come to the end of this. If you like this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up if your face is a new one here i would greatly appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button we're sitting at 841 right now the goal is to try and get to over a thousand by the end of the year so help a brother out that's it for me and until next time i'm out peace